everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really cute um, little gift bag, I guess. Um, the idea came when I brought a muffin the other day from the bakery and she just put it in a brown bag and kind of rolled the top and it that's, that's it. I just thought actually that would look really nice. So this is my roll top gift bag. Um, I've done it in the craft car to kind of, you know, um, make it look as kind of uh, just like a that paper bag look, I guess. I, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but you, you can see what it looks like. I think it's really super cute. Um, I've got a nice little label here on the top and I've already uh, put something on the back there. I don't want to reveal it too much because it is all ready to be given. Um, it's time to celebrate with Kate, which is a stamping up set with this little matching stamp here as well. And these papers were from um, the uh, Making Cards magazine freebie um, thing on there as well. And there's just normal craft card. And basically you just undo the bow and take off the tag there. I've put a hole right the way through both sides and then inside is the gift and it's already in there as well and it's really really big you can see you can get lots and lots of stuff in there and the way I've cut it so that you don't have the bulk here when you roll this over so then you just roll it down and feed that back through and tie it up so it's super easy to make so let's crack on Okay, so let me just grab all these bits here so I can show you. So the colour I'm going to use today is a Stamping Up Pink Passion. This is an old one. That's the stamp set. So it's Party With Cake. Um, and I picked this one up on... No, I brought this from a, a, a Stamping Up demonstrator. She was selling them on a Facebook page. So I just purchased on there. And you can pick these up. Really, really good prices. So if you ever want to get old Stamping Up... Um, stamps I'll look for the links for the Facebook pages and share them with you um, today no that was for the one sorry the purple I used was the 17 violet from Versa color so this is the Versa um, mark brand um, but today is that pink passion um, I've already stamped it or I'll give you the measurements but again I, I tend to always do that and I've just finished it with these lovely little embellishments and just done all the pink tones and I've got some pink ribbon there ribbon length 12 what we got there roughly seven yeah 17 inches um that's the papers there I done a Facebook live where I made these pop-up corner cards with this theme and these papers here and then I had these left over um and I've got one bit, <laughs> so I've nearly used the whole pack. And those of you that follow me know I like to use everything, so I will find something to use this last piece with. Nothing gets wasted. Okay, so you need two pieces of craft card. My favourite, favourite craft card. Um, this is Do Crafts uh, craft card, and again, I'll share all those links for you. Okay, so first of all, you need to score. So these are eight and a quarter by... Um, 11 and 5 8 so they're a default um, A4 size um, now I know I try and and I'm pretty good I always try and do it so that um, everybody can kind of use their um, letter paper or their A4 and I just usually trim it down um, so it's 11 inches long but I needed this full um, size for this particular gift so apologies there anybody else will have to use 12 by 12 paper if they want to make this one if you don't have A4 so along the eight and a quarter inch side, you want to first of all score at one quarter, all the way down. Then you're going to score at three and a quarter, all the way down. Okay. Then you want to rotate onto the 11 and 5 eighths or whatever that default is. It would be around that. And you want to score at, uh, what am I doing? Three and four and a half and then at nine and you just want to score down to the three inch line so this one that you scored earlier just score down to there okay then rotate it back onto the eight and a quarter inch side and you want to score at one and three quarters all the way down past that score line that you just done and just down to that second score line okay so that's that one then you don't want to repeat exactly the same onto the second piece of card okay so most of it's the same but there's a few differences um, okay so again you want to score along the eight and a quarter at a quarter of an inch and then again at three and a quarter then rotate and score again at three 
Then you want to score it four and a half just down to that line there. And again at nine just down to that line. So on the other one, you score that four and a half all the way down. That's because that's going to be the back because these can also lie flat pack. So you can make them now and then store them away until you need them. But this is the front piece, so you don't want to have that line going across. Okay, so that's why we just score to there. And then, so yeah, so it's four and a half and nine just to that line. Then rotate it back again and at one and three quarters, score all the way down past that line and again down to that second line. Now I know I just said that if you've got 12, you'd have to use 12 by 12 if you don't have A4, but I'm just thinking you could probably get away with it at 11 and just do these scorings and it just means you might not have a as, as much rolled over but it would still roll. So I think you would still be able to do it because if you imagine yours is cut to 11 inches there, you're still going to have that amount there because we're going to cut this piece out, that amount to roll over. So I take back what I said, I think you could still do this, okay. So even if you've got 11, use your um, 11 and cut it down to 11 and 8 and a quarter and I think you'll still be okay. All right. Okay, so that's the scoreboard scoring. You just need to grab your ruler and just do a little bit extra. So where we have, um, so you've got it facing um, uh, portrait. Uh, you've got the quarter inch side here, little tab. You'll have this kind of rectangle that you've done and you've scored down to that second score line here. You basically just want to join up in this bottom little rectangle. We're going to join up so we form a triangle. So the bottom left of the rectangle, you just want to grab your ruler and score up to that score line that comes down. And then again from that point down to the bottom right, Again, so if I just hold that up, you can see there what I've done. So you'll have this big rectangle here with that square and then that big rectangle and then this little rectangle. You just want to join up from the corner, ignore the tab, just the corner of the rectangle um, up to the top there. So it joins that middle score line and then again it down there. So you've just got this triangle. It's just going to help you fold it all together. Okay, you want to repeat that bit exactly the same on this one. So again, there you can see where I've already put that score line in. Okay. Right, now we can start burnishing and cutting and getting that all done. So grab your bone tool and just burnish every single score line. Okay, so you'll be able to score everything apart from this score line and these little triangles, but don't worry, that will all fall into place in a minute. Okay, so now you want to cut, so you've got your quarter inch tab here on the left hand side, just rotate it so it's now facing you, and you will have this first score line here, that you just want to cut all the way across, like so. And then if you cut slightly over to the, um, the left hand side of that score line and just cut the score line out, because this is going to be the piece that we roll and you just don't really want to have that bulk there. So you can see I've just removed that score line completely. Okay, then rotate it back up again. So this quarter inch tab again is on the left hand side. You want to cut up that quarter inch tab to the first score line. Like so, and just remove that. Then cut up the next score line and again remove that bulky, lumpy bit of the score line. Just take that out. And it'll make our box much nicer when we go to close it. Like so. Okay. So you can see there, I've just removed that score line and you've got this tab here where we're going to put it all together. So just repeat that again on this second piece. So again, just rotate it and cut that top bit out. Okay, so there you will have two pieces the same. Then we can decorate this one without the score line going through. So you'll have this one all plain, and then you'll have this one with the long score line. So that's the back. So this piece here, you want to decorate your the front. Now, I cut this bit wrong, and the correct size, and the one I prefer is this one. So I'm going to give you the measurement off of this one and not what I stick down. So you want the back piece, this purple paper, is four and three quarters by five and then the white card in the middle is four and a quarter by four and a half 
Okay, so that's the measurement you want. I don't know what I was doing, or I wasn't concentrating, and I cut it differently. So this is, I've just got a bigger border, but I prefer the purple one. So if you want this one, this is four and a half by five. Okay, so it's only slightly different, but. And the white piece here is three and three quarters by four. Is that four or is it just over? A little bit over, it's like four and one eighth, but anyway, there we go. So I'm gonna stick that. I've already stuck it on the back. Um, where's my little poke tool? So I'm just gonna stick that into this area here. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that down so I've got a nice even border all the way around, like so. Okay, and then we need to stick some double-sided tape on these small little tabs here. So I've just got my red tape. I'm just gonna pop that on each one. Okay, so this first piece here, we just wanna stick. Now, because we don't have a score line along the top, start with this uh, score line here and just line that up with the bottom of that tab. And those two score lines there, and just make sure that all meets up and the bottom obviously is lined up and then you know that you've got it all in the right place. And then just fold this one over and again, this one now should just easily all fold down. So just make sure you're happy, like so. Okay, so we can see now it's all starting to come together. This is super strong as well, this, um, this particular um, project because of the craft card, which is why I love it so much. Okay, so this is the front, so fold the front one up. Bring the side, no, sorry, I like to do it that way because I don't like you to see, I don't like to see these bits inside. So bring the back up, like so, and then I'm just gonna, just gonna use some of this glue here and just splodge it around the edges, like so. Craft card absorbs quickly, so you don't wanna leave this for too long without sticking it down, because it's so fibrous. Um, there we go, and then just the last bit. There you go, you get really, really nice finish there because you cut all that bulkiness off. Okay, so it's nice and flush. Turn it upside down, grab your ruler. Okay, and then inside you've got a really nice flush bottom <laughs> because you've hidden those two side pieces between this piece and this piece. I think it looks nicer as well. Okay, so now that's all done, what you wanna do is just kind of start to fold it, pinch it in on the sides, okay, and then on this back one here, if you just squeeze it and just keep pushing everything down and you will get a nice flat gift bag. And then if you grab your bone tool, you can just go along and just kind of rub it over the top there and just get that nice and flat. So if you don't want to give this now, I would leave it like this, okay, until you go to put it together and you can just file these away, they're nice and flat. You could also make uh, maybe five of these, put them all together and then put them in a cellophane bag and have them as, as gifts if you're doing craft fairs and stuff. I think they're really, really good ideas. Um, so yeah, so that's that piece done, but obviously we are gonna make it all up. So you just wanna pop it all back open again. So again, you've got a really, really nice sturdy piece here. And we just want to kind of roll these first before we hand roll them. So you just want to help it a little bit. So just grab something long. You might have a paintbrush or your ruler. And you just see what I'm doing. Just kind of, it is a bit awkward, but it will start to go. And you want this to get all wrinkly and stuff. So don't worry if you start to get like, I'm um, see there, you can see all those like creases. That's fine because this is all going to roll. I'm just trying to kind of help it at the minute. Okay, so just... Pinch the top so it's all nicely lined up and turn it over and just start. I mean, if you're not using craft card, your card will probably roll a lot easier, but this craft card is obviously nice and thick. You just want to really kind of work that end just so you can start rolling it. Because what you don't want is you don't want a square. Well, I guess you could. You don't have to have it completely rolled, I guess. And then it will just start to go like so and just keep doing that I've done it for a while until this got really soft so I'm kind of like breaking up all the fibers so even if yours was 11 inches all it will mean is it might not you might just get it like that rather than right over like I've got it there okay so 
you should still be able to get this effect really nicely. So the more you play with this, the more obviously it will work. I'm just kind of breaking it all up there. So I want that kind of rough effect. It's all part of the look. You can see that it's all breaking down nicely now. So don't be afraid to be rough with this card. I've used it a lot and it is so forgiving and that's why I love it. So now you can see how much softer that has become. It's so easy now to, to work. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? I really, really like it. Okay, so now you need to hole punch. What you, um, my hole punches obviously won't go through this. So all I done was got my pokey tool and just roughly, again, eyeball the center there if you wanna grab your ruler and just measure the middle point here. But I can see it's roughly there and you basically wanna pierce a hole underneath this rolled piece on the top. So you can see that I'm just going through the back. Can you see? Okay, so it's just underneath it. And it's just kind of got a nice little border, similar kind of border of the brown there along the top. Okay. And then grab my ribbon. Just feed that through here. Pinch the back. Like so. And then I've got my tag. Again, just feed that through and then just tie it up. And there you go, there's my two beautiful little roll top gift bags um, or sandwich bags, paper bags. There we go. And from the back as well, they look really nice. So there you have it. So pretty straightforward. Um, it's just kind of working that card. And the more you play with it, obviously the better it will become and roll easier. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this one. Um, please subscribe to my channel so you get to see more of my um, projects and hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.